Welcome back everybody to another episode of She Plays Ark Survival Evolved. Last time we left off, we had captured Jojo. Off screen, I did get my hands on Jojojo. So we've got Mojo, Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. So the three dodos who should hopefully be providing us eggs. Today I'm going to explore a little bit because I know we've been doing just a little bit of stuff that's kind of not so um, fun. So, uh, we need to we need to start figuring out, checking out our surroundings, getting used to all the area around us. I did say I was going to find some rocks, so hopefully on our journey around here we'll find rocks and not raptors. At the moment I'm not really fully equipped to fight a raptor, although a, the staff might be okay. It would be nice to tame a raptor, but I really don't plan to tame a raptor until I'm around level 15. And currently I'm only level 7, I think. Is that level? Yeah, level 7. Um, it looked like there was something in the water, so maybe I can show you a little bit what might be under the water. So all I see is a fish. So maybe I was wrong. Okay, alright. There is- you just really gotta- oh, there we go, there we go. See over there? That would have been a very bad idea. You can see in the water there is a megalodon just chilling. There's two megalodons and it looks like they're eating something, so yeah, it's probably not the best idea to go in the water right now. It's not very good idea at all. Oh, is that a Spinosaurus? Yes, that is a Spinosaurus. All right, so um, first time seeing a Spinosaurus on live stream. You can see in the background. I'm not getting too close to that thing because that is a very bad idea. They are extremely dead deadly. All he has to do is really step on me and uh, he will squish my face. Maybe we can go into the woods a little bit. Probably also not the best of ideas, but hey, we need to explore, we need to find some meat, we need to get a little good a good idea of our surroundings. Hopefully we don't run across any raptors, which would be absolutely terrible, but we might be able to fight them. I don't know. I've, I've fought raptors before. They're not as bad. They're fast. As long as you can see them coming, you usually have a much better chance of surviving. Look at these woods. So what I also would love to be able to do is find a nice place to relocate. Because in all honesty, I don't really want to end up staying on the beach forever. Oh my goodness, that is too bright to stare at. So we're still relatively close to our territory. Like our house is right down the beach, down that way. But I'm going to go this way just to kind of see if we can find anything a little bit more interesting. I would love it if I didn't find a giant alligator or a raptor. Although no, no problem really. The alligators really um, are not a huge issue because you can outrun them. They kind of just waddle after you. Oh, there's a Fiomia. So, in case you don't know what a Fiomia is, now it said that I could create a Fiomia saddle. So, if what I did was tamed one of these guys, see, it looks kind of like a mole. Oh, he's only a level one Fiomia. Is he stuck? Let's check. Yeah, it looks like he's stuck. So, I'm going to actually use this to my advantage. I'm sorry, little Fiomia, but the meat could be very useful. Alright, so he also ended up getting right close to one of these guys, which I don't have the stuff to create one. Alright, go ahead and spit. Kill one of these guys. Alright, so now we've got lots of meat. Meat and hide. Very, very useful. Very useful. Uh oh. Lost some frames there for a second. Holy crap, look at all this meat. Look at all this meat. Holy crap. Meat's galore. What I should probably do is cook this meat, but we might just wait for right now. Because the meat, as you can tell, will spoil very fastly. Yeah, yeah, that's only going to spoil in 10 minutes. I want to have lots of food. So let's go ahead and we're going to put this on the fire. Just at our base. Oh, what is that near our base? Tell me that's a... Okay, good. He's he's a he's a pleasant dinosaur. So we're gonna yeah we're gonna put this on our uh, on the fire on our base, and once we're done cooking this, then uh, then we'll get back to exploring. Oh, while we were waiting for our meat to cook, look at what happened. Jojo -Jo laid an egg. What Jojo? -Jo. Jojo is slacking because Jojo -Jo beat Jojo -Jo to laying an egg. I can't believe that Jojo. Jojo, -Jo, why aren't you producing any eggs? So with the dodos. I kind of use them as additional storage, but as you can see, there's an egg right there. We can only eat it or feed it to um, carnivores when we're training them, and uh, I guess it is a nice form of um, 
getting them all leveled up and good stuff. Let's get this out like right here. So anyway, while we're waiting for the rest of the meat to cook, now I could save the meat and use it to kind of tame a predator, but I don't really want to do that just yet. At least not until we're fully able to. So let's just give it a little bit more time, finish cooking this out, and I really need to get some rocks because all of my tools are broken and I have no flint to fix them. Alrighty, well we pulled all the food that we could out of the... Uh, out of the fireplace, of the fire, with the, with the meat and the stuff and the other good stuff, so we can finally, finally explore! So let's go ahead and get some water really quick. I saw a shark over that way. I'm gonna, ooh, as long as that sun doesn't blind me to death, I'm going to explore mm, around the tower, maybe. Yeah. So we've got a little wood, with a set of woods there. I did manage to go, like, while the meat was cooking, I went around and, um... Oh, wait a minute. Wooden fiber. I need some more wood. Hold on. Let me, let me fix my spear before we go out exploring really quick. Alright, and Mojo's got a lot of fiber. I've been using him as, like, a storage chest for fiber. <laughs> so... That works, since dinosaurs are only limited by weight and not inventory, but chests are limited by inventory and not weight. So it's kind of, it works out. What do we need to make another one? Wood. Now, oh, snapple doodle. This is bad. Let's make one more. And we'll put the rest of the wood on the fire. That way. But unfortunately, ah, oh crud, the sun is setting. This is not good. It's never a good idea to go out hunting at night. <sighs> but it, the day-night tr cycle transitions to night very, very, very fast. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to actually just chill around camp, collect resources and things like that, and then we'll, we'll explore as soon as the sun starts to rise. Because... Dinosaurs can come at you from every angle in the middle of the night. So, uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, it's finally daytime, and now we can finally go out and explore a little bit. As you can see, I expanded my base just a little bit. It's not entirely all that good. I, I finally I came to discover that I started building my base. Probably the worst possible place I probably could have. So, before we go out just yet, one last thing we gotta do. Put the fiber back on Mojo. Everybody's all fed up and good. Everybody good? We got lots of food. Okay, you're, you'll be good for a while. Grab some water. We got food. We got tools. We got flint. We got rock. We got stone. Made sure we were fully prepared. And then... Only thing we don't have are water bags, which is fine. We'll, we'll be fine without them. Now, let's go explore. Heck yeah. Oh man, it's just deciding where to go first because there's so many different places. Now we already went down the beach that way a little bit and found that there is a Spinosaurus that way, so let's not go that way. Probably not the best of ideas. Let's pull out our staff just for extra protection. You never know when a dinosaur might come out of the shadows. So, we got a Triceratops there. Oh, he looks to be stuck. Only thing is, we don't want to get the Triceratops just yet because... Yeah, never know. The, um, well, I don't have a trike saddle just yet, so we, we would not really be able to utilize it very well. It could be somewhat protection. Oh, hello, Dilo. Hello, Dilo. Level 29, Dilo. Spit and fail. Oh. Now, as you saw... Oh, he's dead. Alright, well, never mind. As you saw, um, one thing I also forgot to point out is that I did set up a, um, a sleeping bag in my house. So if I die, which is very possible, um, and more than likely, honestly, I will respawn at my base. Now, the only bad thing about dying out in the world is when you die, you lose everything unless you're able to relocate your body what level are you oh crap I managed to spit in my face so this is what happens if a dialo does manage to spit in your face luckily he was only level two and I was still able to somewhat 
see where he was. But that took a nice big chunk of my health, which is not good. Oh, there's a Stegosaurus. Very nice. So this is more of a nicer location to build, honestly. The only thing I don't like about it is there's no water source. Like, the water source is all the way over there. So we got to wait just a little bit to get our health back. I don't think any... Oh, you see that in the distance? You might not see that in the distance, but that is a raptor. That is definitely a raptor. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it, so... I can't tell, though, if there's a pack there. I think it might just be one, and he seems to be wandering this way. That's not good. I'm not ready yet to fight a raptor. <laughs> I mean, I could probably kill it, but... You know what? Whatever. We're, we're relatively close to the base, so if we do die... Um, I would much rather have it- oh wait, maybe it's not a raptor, maybe that's just a dilo. Oh yeah, it's just a dilo. Never mind. Oh, but here we go, check this out. Brontosaurus! Oh! And, okay, so no, that, that is a raptor. Luckily he can't get to us. There's two of them too. Look at, oh, and they can see us. So he can see us. I don't know if he can get to us. No, neither one can get to us. Good. At least for right now. They, they tend to get stuck on the rocks if you're on a cliff or something. And they try to get to you, but they can't. But they are super mega ultra fast. There's something hunting over there. That little guy got attacked by something. So hopefully we luck out and there are no raptors. I mean, well, there's definitely raptors under the rock. You saw them bulls come after me like like there was no tomorrow. Okay, so you can see in the distance right there where I'm pointing with my staff, there is a raptor attacking that turtle right there. So that's why all the dinosaurs are freaking out. So let's ex Ah, oh, just a Dilo, just a Dilo. Dilos could be good for hunting parties. So that's why I'm like, well, maybe I should get a Dilo, but I'm not 100% positive. Because if you put... Are they still down there? I think they're still chasing me, but I can't fully tell. I don't want to go down there because there are two raptors. One raptor I might be able to get. I don't know about two. Die, Mr. Dilophosaur! Die! Oh, missed the lava so anyway. Oh man, I already started running out of time. And we hardly got anything. But we're not gonna run to the base. We're gonna go ahead and just get to the top of this hill, see if we can find anything good. I am starting to run low on water. What I would love to be able to do is find a place to relocate. But we'll just have to wait and find out what happens. Okay. Oh nice. Very nice. So that's where the tower is. It's actually a pretty decent place to build. The only thing is, it seems like raptors and tricera tri tri bleh, not triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex tend to be kind of frequent around here. Wow, look at all the dinosaurs! So I upped the dinosaurs just a little bit, but it man. Okay, you can see one, two, three, four Dilophosaurus. I saw there was a raptor attacking a Stegosaurus, but there was a whole group of Stegosaurus that were killing it, so it's more than likely dead now. But, oh, and over there, over there you can see the gator. You see his tail sliding down. This is so cool, this is so cool. Finally, finally we're starting to see lots and lots of dinosaurs in their natural habitat. Unfortunately, oh man, see him in the distance? Oh wow, we don't want to mess with him. Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to end the episode there. Thank you so much for joining me. On the next episode, we will be able to explore this area just a little bit better. This might... Well, I don't know. Look, you can see them ping-ponging the, the velociraptors over there. Like, oh my goodness. Anyway, we have to end the episode. Oh, wait, there's a rock that's slowly getting teleported into the distance. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, goodbye. I will, take, I will see you later. Thank you very much for joining me. If you want to see me in my... um. Uh, in multiplayer mode, although we are PvE Care Bears, just be sure to check out the link below and I will see you there. Bye bye! And next time. <laughs>